July 30th, 2008, 201 days before the end of analog television. From New York, hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, Alaska Senator Ted Stevens, the longest serving Republican senator, has been indicted on seven counts of making false statements. Charges include pushing for legislation that benefited family members and some improper ties to an oil contractor who paid its employees to renovate the senator's home. Now, most of you know Ted Stevens for his famous tube speech. Let's listen for a second. The internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. And if they're filled, when you put your message in, it gets in line. It's going to be delayed by anyone that puts into that tube enormous amounts of material. Nope. No false statements there. Ironically, the 86-year-old technological wonder declared his innocence on his website. I'm surprised he didn't Twitter it. In other news, Page Six is reporting that NBC's summer ratings are so bad, co-topper of programming Ben Silverman could be out of a job. One insider was quoted as saying, if the fall is as bad as the summer, someone will have to take the blame, and it won't be Jeff Zucker. Just last week, Ben said he manages for margins, not for ratings. Too bad the currency of the television industry is ratings. Hmm. Maybe he didn't get the memo. Live Nation is thinking about outsourcing. No big deal, you say. Yeah, but they're thinking about outsourcing all the stuff they can't do, which is basically everything, right back to the very labels the artists defected from. You gotta love the record business. Yahoo, Intel, and Hewlett Packard are getting into the cloud computing biz. They'll open six data centers around the world. Visit ShellyPalmer.com and check out my article about Amazon and its cloud services offerings. Everyone's getting in the game. Speaking of Amazon, my favorite online retailer will now offer its payment services to other sites. Checkout by Amazon will work like OpenID, allowing Amazon's 81 million customers to check out on third-party sites. Amazon also introduced Amazon Simple Pay, which is similar to PayPal. Visit ShellyPalmer.com to learn more about it and for news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment. For Media Bytes, I'm Shelly Palmer.